Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can fix the common alignment issue in your WordPress website. Either you are using Elementor, Breezy, DB, or the normal Gutenberg editor, you can use this solution to fix the alignment issue. I will show you two solutions. One is by using a free plugin which is specifically for Elementor, and the second one is by using the CSS code which you can use for any page builder. So let's see how we can do it. The first thing is you can go to the link in the description which will take you to this page and here you can learn both the methods. One is by using a plugin. So we will install and activate elements by plugin. Then we will enable this widget and then we can edit any page with Elementor and we can use it. So to download the plugin you can click on this link or just click on this button and you can download this plugin. Then just upload it to your WordPress dashboard. Once you upload that plugin you will see this element fake light. Just activate it. Then you can skip this and you will see a dashboard like this so this is the plugin dashboard here you can go to core widgets and you can explore all these widgets you can use them for different purposes i have explored this plugin in my previous videos as well and you can also explore these third party widgets the one that we will be using in this video is under extension and here you can see this widget equal height so make sure to enable this in order to use this once you enable this then you can save settings here and then you can edit any page with Elementor and you can use this feature. Let me show you. I have created this simple structure. We have this container and then we have these image boxes. Okay. Now all the images are same. All the titles and the text are same. The only difference is the amount of text here in this box. And that is why we have this alignment issue. And now to fix this issue, you can just edit the parent element, which is container in this case. We'll go to advanced tab. And here you will see this option equal height. Just open it and you can enable the equal height here you don't see any difference because this only affects the live website we will check it later on and here you can change the selector so you can use columns widgets child of widgets child of the child of the widgets and so on so you can select the option that you need and if none of these works you can use custom selector let me show you if i click this then we will have to write a class name i'll write a class name with a dot something like image box and let's copy it and we will use this class on the elements that we want to affect with this equal height okay so i'll use this on these image boxes you can write any name by the way we will select it go to advanced we'll write that class here and this time without dot okay same goes for this one and this one and that's it now i can just update this page and let's check this preview so you can see all the boxes are in equal height and we have that same amount of text. So this is one solution. So if you are using Elementor, you can download that plugin which is free and you can fix this issue. Now let me show you the second solution which is by CSS code. Okay. So for that let's deactivate this plugin first. So I'll go to plugins and we'll deactivate it. Okay. Now let's try the next solution. So again go to that first and here we will scroll down. This is the method 2 by custom CSS and we will be using the line clamp property which clamp align or hide align and this is the code just copy it and now you can add the custom CSS code in Elementor Pro but if you are using Elementor free version you can use an external plugin or you can just simply use the customization page let me show you so we don't have the equal height for now we will go to customization and let me show you live so we will scroll down here we'll go to additional CSS and I'll paste that code here and the only thing here is we will need to change this class name so as we have used image box we will use that and you can see the impact here now this is 3 this is why it is showing 3 lines if I increase this to 4 you will see another line and another line and so on so this is how you can fix this alignment issue by using custom CSS if I increase this so you can see it increases the number of lines so this is how you can fix the alignment issue by this CSS code. And uh, if I switch to mobile view, here we still have those three lines. If you want to increase and decrease this only for the mobile view, you can use the third code here. Here you can see responsiveness. This is the same code. You just need to use this one, okay? This is the media query. You can learn more about it by googling it. Let's copy it. And uh, we will paste it here. And now this is the class name. So again, we will change it. And you will see the impact here if i write image box this is now to one is this image one is this title i'll increase it to four now we have this so this is how you can use this property for different devices if i switch back to desktop and here you can see three lines 
and in mobile view you will see only one line so this is how you can fix this alignment issue using Elementor or using any page builder and this link is in the description where you can download this plugin or you can use this code ok and to learn more about Wolfis, Elementor and WooCommerce you can watch my previous videos or I have lots of videos about Wolfis and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next